here we are. <coughs> At a wetlands. I'll eventually look up what it is. Yeah, this thing is pretty popular. I mean, it's a dead midday Friday in the summer. We got a pretty high fill about the wetland. And this has been incorporated to an extent into the town's trail system. And the tamp down bed here, other than being a little bit scary, uh, at least is a good working surface for most dual purpose bicycles. or old school bicycles. Pretty pastoral though. Once you get past Route 128 and immediate small industrial area. It's pretty quiet. It's like someone had a tree farm going on. You got all these balsam firs and little neat rows. There's another one of those right-of-way edge markers. Past the wetland part of the fill, now coming upon a cut. It's always cut and fill, fill and cut. Oh, there's a little vernacular trail of some kind. Clear off into private property or something. Is that? That almost looks like a kiosk. Explaining something. Okay. It's a beehive. Cool. <laughs> yeah, this rocks. I've got mockingbird escorts filling in for the usual robins. And here we pass through a cut. Ooh, look at the neatly arranged little pile of rusty junk. <laughs> it's like they're making art out of abandoned railroad parts. <laughs> and there's another one of the right-of-way marker signs. This is a killer trail. No wonder the citizens of Weston kind of want to keep it to themselves. <laughs> 
that there's a stub of an old <coughs> telegraph line pole. It looks a lot nicer at this time of year than when I came here in March. We had a late spring and it was pretty desolate looking. Mockingbird quarrel. And there's a close up of the current principal reason for this right of way power line access. It's one of the Commonwealth's more elegant solutions. They managed to collect some kind of leasing fee for this bankrupt thing they ended up with decades ago. <laughs> oh, that looks like a surviving concrete base. Or maybe even a mile marker up ahead. That should be an interesting thing to investigate. There aren't a lot of relics, but then it's a pretty straight ahead line. There aren't a lot of spurs or branches. It's just a single track in this area, winding its way through backwater. we passed through is more horribly rippled track. And here's the concrete thing when you get to investigate. Huh, it's some kind of cool old granite pillar boundary marker. Interesting. And there's a piece of rail that washed up to one side. Further up ahead, probably even right now, the town of Wayland is working on a preparation for its part of this rail trail. I think this is called the Wayside Trail or something after the Wayside Inn in Sudbury. Whoop, there's our first street. I don't know which one it is. And 
there, it's pretty well banked up along the thing here. And once again, we're riding above a wetland on a fill section.